This week, we're installing the Resiliency Garden at the Institute for Contemporary Art. Today, we're putting soil in the boxes, preparing for us to install plants. Really, this space is all about black space mattering, how it's important for African-American communities to have space that could be regenerative, that also addresses food access and climate resiliency at the same time. So this black top is really a strong example of what many neighborhoods experience. Communities throughout the Richmond region experience a lack of healthy food access as a result of redlining and a host of racist policies. Those same areas that were formerly redlined are also disproportionately affected by lack of tree canopy that causes urban heat island effect, which is correlated to high levels of heat-related illness, heat strokes, and etc. The work that we do is designed to address those issues simultaneously. So with the creation of gardens and green spaces, we're able to provide practical, applicable interventions that allow the community to, to regenerate itself. What we decided to do as a result of COVID though, was instead of just developing singular community gardens, we would deliver six by four raised beds directly to community members' homes. Volunteers would deliver wood, soil, seedlings, and then build raised beds at their homes. We've delivered over 275 raised beds throughout the Richmond region. Through the provision of raised beds to community members, we're able to address the food justice conversation. Through the planting of trees in community, we're able to reduce the heat in those spaces. The work really is about helping community members express agency in terms of where their food comes from. A great day for me looks like, um, you know, community coming together, learning together, growing together. Uh, that's always a great day for me, yeah.